All right, this is the book of Genesis chapter one, and I'm gonna read verse 29, and it says, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, and which is the fruit of a, of the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you, it shall be for meat. I wanna give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash, Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to sow the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. All right, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another one. And Lord willing to be edifying. You know, this is uh, going to be one of those quick, uh, straight to the point, uh, late night lessons because you know i i gotta get up in a few hours for work you know i work first shift uh and man it comes fast man it comes real fast and uh uh salaki i actually wanted to put this out earlier but man when I, I felt like crap i went to work today and it just was rough man it was a it's a rough one i'm still uh under you know under the weather you know this uh if you just tuning in you know i was talking about it in previous lessons that you know a co-worker came in sick and got me sick you know they was in my department all in my face you know he can't speak uh english you know so i think what it is is my job they're so desperate for workers they'll take any anybody in but they didn't want to deal with them because they can't speak nothing but english you know what i'm saying they don't speak spanish you know so they put them right there with me therefore you know He's been all in my face. You know what I'm saying? Even with me being sick, like I came in today and the first thing he did was he was ready to run over there to me. I mean, I had the mask over there because I'm not trying to get nobody sick. You know, normally I work to myself in my area. So I was, I kind of put my hand out like, hey man, you know, keep your distance. And I told him, explained to him, I said, man, you got me sick, man. And I was sick, Uh, you know, I missed two days of work. And uh, which I'm not too thrilled about being in that place anyways. You know, maybe, hey, I'll look at it like this. Hey, I need the rest. You know, you know, sometimes your body needs it, man. And maybe the Heavenly Father might uh, just be like letting you know, hey, you know, you need to you need to chill, you know, because, you know, these jobs also is wearing tear. So, you know, I wasn't too like keen on like, oh, man, I got to be at work, you know. And like I said, you know, the Heavenly Father blesses me. So I had some some, you know, something put back. So it's not going to uh, affect, you know, hurt me. And now, of course, it's going to, you know, next week's check going to suck. But, uh, you know, it'll be all right. But I felt like crap in, in the morning. I was like, man, I don't know. Maybe I made a big mistake coming in here. But, uh, you know, as the day progressed, I was all right, you know. And then, uh, but then as I got off, I was just felt like, you know, felt rough again. And also, I wasn't really thinking, but, you know, we're going into the transition from winter into spring. And I'm in the Ohio Valley, okay? So this, uh, where I'm at, oh, my goodness. Like, you know, it, it's a... Uh, this is the time for allergies and all that. So that stuff gets to you. Like, man, my nose right now is stopped up and everything. But like I said, through the spirit, I just went and took my trash out. And I was like, shoot, let me go on and get a lesson knocked out. And I wanted to go into like, uh, I got the uh, lesson I'm going to be doing on Haiti. You know, the stuff going on with Haiti. So I got that coming up. And then I was thinking about doing the Cuba. Because the, there's some stuff going on in Cuba, which I'm going to, that'll be my, probably my next lesson, Lord willing. But I, I came across this article that I'm going to pull up. That's why I started with Genesis because, you know, you how, um, you know, Bashimi how was shy, man, um, during the uh, creation and everything, you know, he blessed the earth, man, uh, and made it fruitful, man, with all types of fruits and, and, and vegetables and everything, man. But, um, you know, um, and it's supposed to be good. Everything that the Heavenly Father makes, you know, with the intent of it being good, man. All right. I mean, we know he creates good and evil, but, you know, as far as fruits, like he, he didn't make them to be poison, like you eat it and you just die and everything. But, you know, uh, we know uh, through the uh, envy of the devil, man, brought us, uh, you know, came, um, you know, uh, sin into the uh, world. All right. But uh, this article here, it says blueberry strawberries again on the dirt, dirty dozen list. All right. So it can't be good. And that's bad, man. You know, but this is how it is uh, when you got Esau ruling over you. All right. And it says approximately 95 percent of non-organic uh, strawberries, leafy greens, such as spinach, kale, coll collard or mustard greens, grapes, peaches, pears tested by the United States government contain detectable levels of pesticides. See that? 
according to the 2024 Shoppers Guide to Pesticide and Produce. Look, it says nectarine, apples, uh, bell and hot peppers, cherries, blueberries, and green beans rounded out the list of the 12 most contaminated samples of produce. See, this is crazy. It's dubbed the Dirty Dozen. See that? By uh, Environmental Working Group, or EWG. It, it, uh, environmental and Health um, Advocacy, or, uh, or Advocacy uh, Organization that has produced the annual report since 2024. All right, so that's, that's crazy, man. You know, uh, you should be able to get those things and everything be fine. But like I said, man, with Esau ruling over us, man, this is all hell, man. This place is hell. All right. This is Job 9 and 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. All right. And if you don't know who the wicked is, man, I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> you know, other than, hey, you know, it's a so-called white man, you know, this, this is the, this is who is ruling over the earth. All right. He's the one that's got militaries all throughout the earth. You know, he got a military everywhere, you know, causing contention and everything uh, with all these different nations, because that's what he does. You know, war is always in this man's heart, you know, and wickedness. He, he seeks out uh, wicked wickedness. All right. So, again, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of. Uh, uh, of the judges thereof, okay, that's the Israelites, okay, because we're the judges, Hell, you know, when you look at the Bible, we got a book in there called, you know, the book of Judges, okay, the judges are the Israelites, all right, all right, he covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he, okay, and we know who he is, because, you know, it tells you in the last days, the man of sin will be revealed, and that's what we bring it up. But a lot of our people, you know, they want to come up against us and, oh, no, 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 it, it, it ain't the white man. Esau's the Arab. Come on, man. It's, Ish it's Ishmael. That's why they got princes. Them, they call them princes. The Saudi prince and all that. They tell you that Ishmael will, will have the, you know, his sons, you know, will, will be princes, you know. All right. It's, 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 no, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, you know, the Arabs are Ishmael. Okay. Esau, Edom will be ruling. Okay. He, he goes over and make war with all them different nations. <laughs> He's the one doing this, man. When you look at the, our money, whose faces is on there? You don't see so-called uh, black man, Hispanic man, or Native American on, on, the, on the money. It's Esau Edom on the money. Okay? So we're sitting here trying to warn our people and tell our people, man. And our people just, you know, they ain't hearing us. You know? But uh, Esau Edom is, is who is uh, ruling, and, and he's the one that's doing this, okay? Because, you know, going back to the uh, story of, uh, you know, Jacob and Esau, you know, uh, Esau hates hate his brother Jacob, okay? Which we know Jacob to be the progenitor of the uh, Israelites, okay? You know, his name was changed to Israel, all right? And we know that to be you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? And then we also got Israelite foreigners, meaning, you know, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So we're everywhere. You know, you're going to have Israelites amongst Moab, Ammon, um, you know, uh, you know, Japheth. You know, uh, that's another thing, because um, we was uh, I posted something because um, I don't know if you are familiar with wrestling, but, you know, you got, uh, you know, uh, you know, like the rock, his whole family on his mom's side, of course. You know, his mom's side is Samoan. OK. And uh, so he got a lot of his cousins there in um, in the WWE, the wrestling uh, show or whatever. And he got, uh, you know, what they're known to be, uh, was it Roman Reigns? And then you got uh, the Usos, which that's spiritual. That's why we tell you that uh, them Samoans and them or Jaffet. Notice that the wrestler Roman Reigns, who is his father is Samoan. His name is Roman Reigns. You know, that that whole stuff, because they're the real they, they are the real Romans and stuff like that. They were the Etruscans and things like that. See, the Heavenly Father put this knowledge, wisdom, understanding into the uh, men, which we deem our elders. This is who we, you know, we give double honors to. You know, they taught us these things. And when you search it out, and it's, it's without a shadow of a doubt, it's the, it's the truth. But our people come up against it. But your people like like the Samoans, the Tongans, all of them out there in, um, out there in those islands and stuff like that. Okay, the Pacific Islands, those people are, are, are your true Europeans. They got pushed out. See, people think that, uh, you know, just because some a certain group of people are in a land today, 
that those are the people like you go to Egypt and you say those are real Egyptians because they they in the land like like people don't get conquered and get moved out like we got moved out we're the Israelites and we got moved out of our land and that's how our people fled into Africa you know but that's a whole nother lesson but I'm just bringing this out real quick but uh, 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 it's one brother he was an Israelite brother he got in my inbox and was like well how do you know because I uh, one of the Usos uh uh, he has a son and his son, you can look at him and he looked like a Jake, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if he was out in the streets, like, you know, uh, and, and brothers would, would run up on him and think, you know, he's an Israelite. Hey, hey, come here, check the word, you an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? But and he might not receive the word and that's really because it's not for him because he's a, a Japhite, okay? He's of uh, Japheth, all right? You know, Japheth had, had uh, didn't he have like, I believe seven sons, you know? All right, but... Uh, those people are, uh, they're different people. You know, even they, they could have, you know, same complexion as you, hair, everything, even resemble you. But that don't mean that it's your people. You know, a lot of times we look too much at the appearance. But what I was saying in that instance is this, you know, the brother didn't get the point I was saying. I was like just showing you that, you know, these other nations come in all different shades as well. Like the East Indians over in India, you know, if, uh, a lot of those Elam, which they're, they're Elam, if um, a Elamite, you know, some of them Elamites are darker than Africans, you know? I've seen some of them, like over in the Louisville area, if I was out downtown Louisville, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we got a lot of Elamites out there, you know, they be working in, whether it be the hospital or some type of business or something, but I see a bunch of them out there and they be, I mean, man, this one Elamite, man, he was jet black, man, he was, he darker than some of them Africans. <laughs> You know, and I was like, good goodness, you know, but our people, uh, you know, but that's, that's the whole point that I was bringing out is like, you know, Hey, these other people, you know, some of them are, are dark flesh people too. It's just Esau, he likes to get away from that because he, he, he deems himself to be like the righteous and stuff. So, you know, when you look at these other nations, they promote that the, the lighter is better. Like, you know, and that's why even you go to any of these countries, they all have dark flesh people as well. But they don't show a lot of them like in their Hollywood movies or whatever they, that, that they make and stuff. It always they find the most lightest ones, you know, you got dark, dark, uh, dark skin, uh, Chinese, Japanese and everything. They just don't show a lot of that. But, and then also you got our people um, mixed in there as well, you know, because our people are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But he didn't get the point I was saying and he was trying to like, I guess, I don't, oh, I won't say he was coming up against it, but he was just kind of questioning it, like, well, how do you know? And I'm like, bro, I know that we're scattered, but I was bringing out a point in that right there. You know, that's why it's always, you know, you should be a man of few words, not just quick to jump on something, you know, jump to conclusions, you know, but Jake does that even in his truth. You got to be careful. But back to this lesson. Okay. This is Psalm 64 and six. It says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them. And the heart is deep. Okay, this is Esau Edom. This is what he does. He search out stuff, you know, and, and he'll tamper with food and stuff. Because one of the curses also uh, put on Cain, you know, after killing his brother Abel, which, uh, you know, if you could receive it through the spirit, uh, Esau is Cain back in the regeneration. You know, we 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 uh, we live past lives. You know, you know that's why we bear the sins of our forefathers and things like that. Because you technically you are your forefathers. All right. So uh, Esau, you know, and that's why it's no coincidence that um, when uh, Isaac had his, uh, you know, he had uh, his sons, you know, which were twins, you know, uh, and they were fighting in the womb, you know, that's going back to the same as, uh, you know, Cain and Abel, you know, you had Cain and Abel, which they weren't fighting in the womb, but, you know, you had one that was the righteous and one became the wicked, which was Cain, you know. Cain was giving a half-assed offering up to the Heavenly Father. And Abel, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh found favor, you know, uh, he was pleased with, with the offering that um, uh, Abel gave, because Abel was giving his very best, you know. But you had, and that's a, a heavy lesson too, you know, you can apply that to this truth, you know, you got to give it your all, you know, don't be half-assing it, you know. That's why I did a lesson like when you do lessons, don't be like, you know, you got Jake, you know, they just look like they, they don't want to be there or they doing it because they worried about somebody coming up against them uh, something like that. You know, it ain't about that. You know, brothers came up against me, but I didn't understand the whole concept of the highways and hedges at that time. You know, 
uh, I thought like you had to get approval or something from somebody, you know, which I, I still in a way believe that you don't just wake up. I'm an Israelite and then you jump out there the next day. You on the streets teaching like now you got to be taught. You got to learn and stuff. You know, you don't go, you know, you don't just walk into school like preschool or, or kindergarten and go in there and then say, you know what? I think I'm ready for 12th grade. You know, you don't do that. It's levels and it takes time. And the Heavenly Father was working with me in, in those years, you know, learning and researching things and, and you know, collecting stuff. And then you got to be patient with our people. You know, Jake get this thing. And it might have been meant for you to get it real fast because your lot is to be out there teaching and stuff like that. You know, and everyone's lot is different. OK. And their awakening is different. All right. Everybody got their own testimony. You know, if we were all the same individual or something, you know, that that wouldn't, uh, you know, <laughs> would make any sense you know the heavenly father has everyone get they got unique gifts and talented uh talents and everything you know jake jake come in this thing and be acting like a robot all right but again it says they search out iniquities they accomplish a diligent search both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep okay hey man <laughs> these devils man they are something else okay all right so i wanted to uh and actually, it's crazy because uh, I could have just started with this one uh, here first. I was sitting there looking and like, hold on, because I was thinking about both precepts. But uh, this this is uh, the same um, chapter, the 64th chapter, but just moving up to the, the fifth verse. OK, and it said they encourage themselves in the evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say who shall see them. OK, and I could have started off with reading this one first, but that other one really made more sense, you know, to read first and then just go up. But uh, yeah. You know, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. This is the wicked. This is Esau Edom. This is what he does. And he lays snares. And, and one of the ways of laying snares is laying bad, bad food. You know, what the hell is it doing in the store? You know, and then all of a sudden you'll hear some kind of recall on the food. You're hearing it a whole lot more than ever. People are getting sick. That's why I started to wonder. I was like, man, am I getting sick because he didn't, you know, I might have ate something bad. You know, I, I be eating fruits and things like that, you know, and you got to be careful. You know, but I, I don't go in there and be buying them, um, them seedless grapes and stuff. That stuff ain't, man. Hey, that's that's the stuff that he's talking about. <laughs> you know, that stuff, it stuff is is messed up. But who's to say that he's not spraying um the the seed the seeded stuff as well? So we really don't know, man. You know, and I'm just like, man, the the way this this place is so, just, you know, everything is poison and stuff. You don't know what to eat, man. You almost just don't want to eat. You know, and I've been feeling like crap today, man. I only ate, ate breakfast, man. I ain't had a uh, lunch or dinner. You know, when I get done with this lesson, I'm going to make a hot cup of tea, man. And then I'm going to call it a night, you know, but I need that to soothe my throat, you know, because it's just been rough. And this, like I said, this weather's been up and down, you know, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And that stuff makes people sick, too. But yeah, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune or lay in snares privily. They say who shall see them. And plus, the scriptures tell you that his eyes are, are privily set against the poor and the poor of the Israelites. OK, man, this man is wicked, man. OK, hey, this is Obadiah one and five. OK, and it says, if thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? All right. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers come to thee, would they uh, not leave some grapes? OK, and I wanted to bring this out because it's spiritual because it was talking about grapes being, you know, while we're talking about fruits, you know, grapes are. Uh, you know, hey, this devil done took it, everything, you know, all the best foods and stuff. You know, hey, this man's got it. When you go to uh, like uh, you go to the neighborhoods where it's nothing but Edomites and stuff like that. Hey, man, they got the best. Uh, they got the best supermarkets. They got food, man, that uh, you don't see in, in your local ones, you know, even in your Kroger's. Like, you know, you barely can walk out of there out the store. I remember when I first woke up to the truth and I was really like really researching this stuff. And this one guy. Uh, even though he's going off because he calling on a whole different name. But one of the things he said, man, it was it's very it's true. You know, and he said, when you go into the grocery store, like and you read labels, you're going to realize, man, you, you'll only leave out of there with like a handful of stuff, you know. And I was just talking about um, and this is spirit, too. I was talking about uh, the closings of the like the dollar stores. You know, there's people that are hurt by that because they, they do their grocery shopping in them dollar stores. But them dollar general them stores uh, we're well not dollar general because they're not, it's not they're not the one closing. Hell, they got their stores are everywhere. <laughs> but uh, it's the dollar store in the Dollar Tree. They're going to be um, closing like thousands of them. 
But um, people shop in there for food. And, and man, when you look at all the stuff, man, most of that stuff in there, like if not all of it is poison, man. You know, you read uh, the labels and it tell you that it contains some bioengineer uh, uh, food or something, some type of chemical or something's in it. And that shit be fucking with people, man. All right. But this man uh, has all the best foods and, and, and he has robbed us. You know, he robbed us of everything, even our food. And that was one of the curses when you read in Deuteronomy that would happen. An enemy would come from afar. Man, they, they take took everything, took our food and stuff. You know, hell, you know, they said that the uh, the Indian, they said he was teaching uh, Esau, you know, teaching them how to, uh, you know, uh, grow corn and all that. And he said, man, and he killed them. And then all of a sudden, and then put out Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving, which Thanksgiving, you know, is really to uh, celebrate the downfall of us. Okay, and our people just blindly be following it. Oh, it's all about the family, just getting with the family. Nah, man, that's not what that's about. It's really celebrating the downfall of you, you know? And these people know it through the spirit, man. They know it, man. That's why every time that day come up, I be wearing this shirt. I got like a, uh, I got a, a, a gadite on there. It's a, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's dope, man. It's a dope shirt. But I always wear that around that time because I just be like, you know, I wear it to work and everything. They be looking, you know, because, you know, y'all, shoot, you freaking eat a mice, man. Y'all slaughtered my people, man. You know, and then sitting there talking about some Thanksgiving. Man, you got your nerve. All right. This is John 10 and 10. It says, uh, the thief cometh not but for to steal see that to steal and to kill see, he's killing you with this bad food too man that's part of his sword man all right and to destroy you know hey would, it, would it also the scripture say let us cut them off from being a nation uh, you know that's esau man him and the other nations because these other nations are going to pay too because they they've had a hand in our downfall you know all right and it says uh i had come I am come, okay, and this is Yahweh Shai, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, okay? So Yahweh Shai is about life, man, you know? Now, of course, you're going to get busy in these last days, and that's just because, hey, there's wicked. There's a lot of wicked. And the wicked, um, you know, this sin, the sins, you know, the wicked man have reached unto the heavens. Hey, so his eyes are set upon this sinful kingdom, which is we know it to be America, all right? This place is, uh, this place is done for, man. This place is going to be destroyed, man. And it's going to be like a lake of fire, you know. It is it is the lake of fire. Because that's why it's going to continue to burn, all right. All right. And then um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Okay, and that's you, you Israelites, all right. So you got to be mindful about what you put in your body and what you eat. You know, I do a lot of lessons on this all the time because, like I said, I go to the store, I be reading labels and stuff. And, and, and that also don't mean uh, nothing. I mean, it's, it's important to do it to show. And at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father will protect you. But like I said, these devils, man, we don't know. They could be doing stuff to the to the good food, you know, as well. You know, I mean, check it, check it out with these fruits. But they're saying non-organic, you know. But, hey, he's doing stuff to the organic. You know, I, I bought some organic uh, bananas. And, man, it seemed like them bad boys go bad quick, man. You know, as soon as you bring them out of the store, man, it's like they just start rotting. You know? They do stuff to, to the food to keep it, like, you know, looking like it's all right in the store. But as soon as you take it out of there, that, that shit go bad. You know, this one uh, Edomite at work, he was talking to me. Because we... Uh, I don't know how we got on the conversation about bad food or whatever, but uh, he said, man, he went to a store and bought a tomato and he was going to make a, a BLT, which he's going off. Well, technically, you know, uh, we're the ones under the law. These Edomites, they can probably, you know, they can eat whatever they want, you know, for now, you know, until the kingdom of heaven is established, they're going to be under that law. All these nations are, you know, Moab ain't going to be eating all cat and dog and all that no more. But anyways, he said that he was trying to make a BLT, which, you know, that to be a bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich, you know, that bacon and stuff, man, you can't be eating that. But anyways, you know, they, they love it. They love it. That swine. But uh, but he went to cut up the, the tomato and it was all rotted in the inside. He said it looked good on the outside and everything, but he cut it and it was rotted. And I was like, yeah, man, these stores are selling bad food. Uh, when I was in Kroger, man, I was looking at some um, 
non-GMO cookies and stuff like that. You know, I like something, a little snack or something with my coffee. And, um, and, and, and I looked at, I look at the dates now, you know, cause there've been times I had bought a, a, like a box of cookies or something and, uh, the shit man, uh, was expired. You know, this is 2024 and they got some, they still got 2023 cookies sitting up there, you know, on the shelf. And I'm like, man, <laughs> that's crazy. But again, it says, know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Okay. So you got to take care of your body. It says, if any man d defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. You know, you be, uh, you know, uh, smoking, uh, you know, uh, being a drunkard, you know, because you, you could drink. But, you know, in moderation, don't don't drink to get a buzz or be drunk and all that old stuff. Hey, the Heavenly Father ain't dealing with that, man. He, he said, don't be a drunkard, you know. You know, they got, that's, that's why they got a thing. Uh, what is it? Alcohol poisoning. You know, you just, you know, going crazy. We know we getting oppressed and stuff, but, uh, you know, defiling your temple, smoking, uh, and all that stuff, man. Okay. Different type of drugs, uh, and, and, and eating defiled foods, which the scripture says, you know, um, uh, also, which I didn't have it pulled up, but in the book of Ezekiel, you know, um, uh, that wherever land uh, the Israelites will be, uh, scattered to, they'll be eating, uh, defiled bread, you know? Okay, like I said, we're everywhere, man. We're in all type of countries. In some of these other countries, the food is <laughs> jacked up too. You know, you watch some videos like uh, Elam, the East Indians and stuff, and you see stuff and, and the way that they be handling. Look like they ain't washing their hands. They got their hands uh, steering the food with their hands. All kind of nasty stuff, man. That's how people get sick, man. <laughs> But again, it says, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. See, you are the temple of God, okay? So you got to be mindful of that, you know? It's all about being um, healthy and stuff like that, man. Trying to, you know, eat eat right, do right. You know, you can get a little exercise, but you ain't got to be uh, uh, all up in the gym, you know, with that, uh, I always say this, that Billy Blank spirit, you know, that Tybo spirit, you know, always... You know, at both flex spirit, you ain't got to be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? But a little exercise is good, man. It's good. You know, take care of your body. Like I, I try to do, you know, you know, go for walks and things like that. Take care of your body. All right. This is the book of Sirach. All right. Chapter 30, verse 15. It says health and good estate of body or above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. OK, you see that? Verse 16 says, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. All right. Wanting to take care of your uh, your body, man. It's very, very key, man. Very important. You know, try to eat right, do right. You know, I take, um, you know, uh, vitamins and all that. The right, the right vitamins, you know, okay. Because not all vitamins are good vitamins. You got to watch everything with Esau, man. I'm telling you, this dude, <laughs> he lays snares. All right. That's why the scripture says this, and I'll end it on this. It says first, this is first Peter five and eight. It says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil as a warring lion walketh about seeking who he may devour. Okay. He's seeking. And like I told you, uh, his eyes are privily set against the poor, which are the Israelites, you know, with this bad food, you know, you know, so you want to be careful, you know, and that's why it's always good. You know, us being watchmen, this is what we do. We just bring out these articles and stuff and just warn you. Hey, you can go look at it yourself. Go look at the list again and and, and be mindful of the food that you uh, that you buy at these grocery stores and uh, and be careful. OK. And then, uh, you know, we got Passover and the Feast of Love and Love and Bread coming up. So, you know, we got to move all the leaven out of our house, which, you know, brothers, I'm sure they're going to be bringing out the information on that. You know, the type of things that that. Uh, you know, has leaven in it, you know, and that you got to move all that out uh, out of your house for a week, man. OK, you know, and then, uh, you know, we eat lamb during uh, Passover and, and stuff like that. So, you know, if you're new in this faith, you know, brothers will probably br be bringing that information out. You'll see videos and things like that. All right. You know, I look forward to this. You know, I look forward to our high holy days. All right. So, uh I hope this uh, lesson was edifying. It's probably a lot went longer than I expected. Like I said, you know, I need to be getting in bed because I got to get up in a few hours. But I'm going to make some tea real quick. And then I'm going to call it one. But, um, you know, you guys just continue to keep me in prayers. Like I said, you know, uh, 
uh, through the spirit, sick or not, I'm going to push, push myself and try to do these edifying lessons and, and keep at it, you know, because I love my people, man. And I just, and like I said, y'all are my family over anything, you know, y'all are my family. And so I want to make sure that I'm taking care of, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh sheep, which are my fellow brothers and sisters in this thing. And um, Lord willing, man, we all be on those chariots and we be out of this, this hellhole, you know. Because, man, um, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got some beautiful things in store for us. And Lord willing, we be the first fruits of the kingdom. All right. So just keep seeking out Yahweh Bashim Yahweh through fear and trembling. You know, seeking out your own salvation. You know, your brothers keep continue doing the work. Sisters, man, being submissive unto your husbands. All right. And if you don't have a husband, you know, just being meek, modest. All right. And, and just learning, uh, learning from the men of the Lord, you know, and applying uh, the truth, you know, that you're learning. And, um. You know, the Heavenly Father is going to bless you uh, with that righteous man, okay? So you just keep trying and everything, you know, and I, my hat goes off to you, you know, that are trying. You know, we know it's not easy. We in this wicked-ass kingdom and stuff, but, you know, hey, the Heavenly Father is making a way for, for his elect, okay? And Lord willing, we be of that number, okay? So again, Lord willing, y'all found this lesson here edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to uh, my fellow brothers and my sisters out there, okay? Till the next one. Shalom.